everybody, and welcome to another edition of my show, Around New Britain with Mayor Stewart. Today we're filming from Farmington Avenue at the site of a new and very exciting development, which we will discuss a little bit later in the show with the property's owner, uh, Michael Frisbee. This development's happening up on Farmington Avenue. It's going to be a new ice cream shop. Frisbee's Dairy Bar is going to be opening soon. That's where we're standing here today, but we'll be talking about that a little later in the show. This show is totally aimed at updating you on the issues facing the city of New Britain. A big thank you goes out to Nutmeg Television for the opportunity and their assistance in providing the public with this show. I want to give a special shout out to my producer, Joe Moreno, who is watching this episode from home this month as she recovers from an illness. We hope you're better soon, Joe, and we can't wait to get you back next month. In the meantime, Zena Topic is behind the camera, so thanks to Zena for making this happen today. If you are looking to see this episode again or previous episodes, you can catch them on my YouTube channel or online at www.nutmegtv.org. I made a commitment to the residents of the city of New Britain when I was elected to make government more transparent and accessible to the people that we serve. This show is just another step in opening government to everyone in our community. I want you to know my office is always open to the people, and especially those that are seeking solutions to the problems that face them daily. While we may not be able to solve all your problems, we can certainly point you in the right direction so that you can get the answers you seek to your questions. We do this by email, by phone, through Twitter, Facebook, the city website, or even in person once a month through my monthly open office hours. This month's open office hours are going to be held July 20th, starting a little bit earlier at 5 p.m. So July 20th at 5 p.m. in my office located on the second floor of City Hall. I'll meet with everybody who shows up and signs in. It's on a first come, first serve basis. Periodically throughout the show, you can see my handles at the bottom of your screen on how to follow me or how to get in contact with me. Please utilize those. I look forward to hearing from you. We'll start with our first segment titled, What's Happening in City Hall? Our next council meeting is going to be held on Wednesday, July 8th. Meetings are held in the city council chambers on the second floor of City Hall. Public participation begins at 7 p.m. and the meeting will begin at 7.30 or whenever participa public participation ends for the evening. As I mentioned before, my July monthly open office hours will take place on July 20th. We're starting a little earlier this time, starting at 5 o'clock instead of 6 o'clock in the mayor's office, which is on the second floor of City Hall. You'll be asked to sign in when you get there and you sit and wait and it's first come, first serve basis. We have commission meetings coming up through the month of July. Although everyone out there is having fun with summer, we're still working hard at City Hall. The Persons um, with Disabilities Commission will meet on July 7th at 4.30 p.m. in room 305. Commission on Community and Neighborhood Development will meet on July 9th at 6 p.m. in room 313. Also on July 9th, the Parks and Recreation Commission will meet at 6 p.m. in room 305 with their new Interim Director of Parks and Rec, Eric Barbieri, after Bill DeMeo's retirement from the city after 31 years. The Board of Education will meet on July 13th. Public comment begins at 6.30 p.m. and that's at the Central Office Building located downtown. The Housing Authority of New Britain will meet on July July 15th at 6 p.m. in the Oval Grove Community Center on 12 Dobeck Road. The Historic Preservation Commission meets on July 20th at 6.30 p.m. in room 313, and the New Britain Commission on Animal Welfare will meet on July 21st at 6 p.m. in room 305. I do have a little bit of a public works update for you. As always, work is continuing in Central Park as we expand the size of the park. The number of trees will increase. A lot of you have contacted my office expressing concern over the amount of trees that we've cut down. While new landscaping features are going to be added to the entire park, we cut down three trees, but I can promise you we're going to be replacing them with over a dozen new ones, so they will be replaced. It's just going to take us some time to complete the project. Uh, work is expected to be completed in the fall of 2016, so it will be going on for quite some time, so bear with us. Pardon our appearance while we're doing some major renovations with phase three of our master plan. Our first historic signage pieces are up also. You can check out um, others that will be popping up throughout the downtown area throughout the summer. There's going to be three walking loops. Uh, one will be in the downtown area, one will be in the Walnut Hill Park area, and one will be in the Broad Street area. So we'll be doing a, a big piece. Uh, actually, I made you a whole show dedicated to the historic uh, walking loop when we get them all up towards the end of the summer. We have some upcoming events uh, that are happening in July. 
a reminder, a reminder that City Hall will be closed on Friday, July 3rd in observance of Independence Day. We're back here with my trusty co-host, Billy Carroll from <laughs> our Department of Economic Development. And I am joined today by Mike Frisbee, uh, who is the owner and operator of Frisbee's Ice Cream, and Heather, who is his right-hand woman who's helping uh, make all of this a reality today. So we're gonna talk to you guys a little bit about um, what, how ice cream is returning to New Britain. Many of you uh, watching may remember uh, this site very specifically. It is, we are standing on the site of the old Gaida's uh, ice cream shop, a staple of our New Britain community, uh, one that closed quite some time ago when I was little. I guess that wasn't that long ago, but. <laughs> so I want to welcome them to the show today uh, to talk a little bit about what we have to offer, what we're going to have to offer here. And Billy is just going to stand here and help me do it. <laughs> That's a good question. That's a good question. So Mike, I'm going to start with you. I mean, everybody out there wants to know what attracted you to New Britain for this project, because this isn't just, we're, we're standing on the side of Frisbee's right now, ice cream. Bar, which all of you will come to and try and taste their awesome product <laughs> later when they're open. But there's so much more to this development, too. This is the gas station on the corner, a restaurant that's going to be in between, and a senior care living facility uh, that's going to be in the back. So this is a, a huge project that you decided to come. And why did you pick New Britain? Besides well, me, of course. <laughs> besides you. <laughs> well, I'd, I'd first like to say that uh, uh, the mayor and, and everyone in the city of New Britain has been great uh, to work with. Um, I've done commercial real estate development for over 20 years, and I haven't been involved in a town like I have here, and I haven't had the, the, um, the, the not only the mayor's group, but also everybody right down to the inspectors, to the, you know, the planners, and everybody, all the departments have been great uh, working with uh, the project. Um, the question about why did I pick New Britain, I, 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 I've, I search for real estate. I love to develop commercial real estate. I, I have a great business partner. Um, for the gas station convenience stores, we're building our own brand, the Noble brand you see up here. But we also, um, I, I like the story of the Gaidas. Uh, when I talked to the Gaida family about buying the property, uh, they, they told me stories about several developers that came in and just wanted to build a strip mall or just wanted to build a supermarket. Right. And in, in keeping with the neighborhood, I thought there was something bigger and better to bring to uh, New Britain. And um, I'm glad to see our, our dream coming true now because we all like love ice cream. Um, and it gives me an opportunity to build something here in the city um, that, I, that I wanted to be a part of and have my family be a part of. And this is a family-owned business where the gas station is more of a, a, you know, a different type of business. Right. And um, I think we're, we're really trying, with, with Heather's help, we're bringing something really special here that uh, you know, we're trying to do something really nice for the community and bring it back. And uh, I'm, I'm just really thankful and proud of what we're creating. And I th hopefully everybody in the city of Britain will see that and, and, and see what we're trying to, to, to do. I think we're really excited to bring ice cream back to town. I mean, it's one thing that people always say to Billy and myself, we need an ice cream spot. We need somewhere to go after Little League games. We need somewhere to bring our kids. Here you go, guys. You have it. We're building it right now. <laughs> You're going to have a place to come. We're really excited to bring that. And I mean, I can't thank you. You've been a great you've been a great business person to work with. I know Billy can attest to that as sure. well. I, I'd like to just lead things up by saying, you know, when I first met Michael, uh, I, I think it was probably about two years ago, Mike, has it been that long? It's been two years, it's, yeah. It's been about two years. Yeah. Uh, you know, when he came into my office, one of the first questions he asked was about the history of the property. I, gave up, I went over the history of the property and what went on in the past and basically what, you know, has been brought to everybody's attention as far as what would be the best fit. Uh, a number of developers, and I think I've said in the past, had come in here, but the fit just wasn't right. It wasn't right for this, this piece of property. It wasn't right for the neighborhood. And that was Mike's first question is, what do you think the neighbors would like? And what does the city like? And normally we're not asked that question. You the developer has something in mind that wants sometimes forced through, which makes it difficult for the city because we're always looking to, you know, be business friendly as trial. But Michael hit it right on the head. And I know one of his uh, priorities and major concerns is, what's going to be the best fits? What does the citizens of New Britain want? And what does the neighborhood so. And I think it's really important that you tie the neighborhood in. I think one of the first things um, that I attended since becoming mayor in November 2013 was a meeting that you held at Pulaski 
middle school to go out and he, he canvassed the neighborhood, put notices in everybody's mailbox that, hey, I want to invite you to this meeting that we're having at Pulaski to let you know what's going on in the neighborhood. It's so important because instead of, you know, ramming development down our, our neighborhoods and, and not cluing in our residents, exactly why things fail. And it was, it's really nice to have somebody who understands that, who knows that, who cares about the lay of the land and the citizens that live in the area. That's really important to us. It makes our jobs a lot easier, yeah. too. So we appreciate you for that, certainly. Um, anything else you no, want to uh, add? It's <laughs> funny as it sounds, I was going to just ask maybe, you know, we're here obviously here at, at Frisbee's Ice Cream Barn, but maybe to discuss, you know, the Noble Project next door mm -hmm. and yeah. drive through Dunkin' Donuts. I received a phone call from a neighbor up here. He loves ice cream, but probably his most excitement was was for having a drive through Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Whatever works. And, and the reason that fun. they're excited about that, for those of you watching that might not know, is just over the border here in Farmington, they have an ordinance that restricts drive throughs So any Dunkin' Donuts, any McDonald's, anything in Farmington, they're not allowed to have a drive through So we're going to put one right over the border for you guys. So our Farmington friends that are watching today, too, we want you to come right over the line to New Brand <laughs> and use our drive through <laughs> We'll welcome you with open arms. <laughs> That's great. One of the other things uh, I'd like to t share with you is that you know it, it, this is a, a continuing project. You know we're going to hopefully get uh, Frisbees open real soon, yeah. and the gas station will come right along with that. Um, and you'll see that you know we're, we're it's not a big neon, you know it's not real commercial. It's in keeping with neighborhood. We want it to be. We want this to be the community place. We mm -hmm. want people to come here and enjoy it and be excited about coming here you know so if there are any you know suggestions recommendations people have in the neighborhood or come to the place we, we want to hear them because it is a family-run business and we want it to be the community place absolutely this actually started at a dinner table when michael was telling us about what used to be on this property and when we found out guidas used to be on this property we kind of looked at each other and i was like hmm, i love ice cream you love everyone loves ice cream maybe there there's something to that yeah. idea. I think Billy and I also pulled for it, too, when yeah. he came in and said, we were like, you know, there used yeah. to be an ice cream yeah. place yeah. there. Uh, yeah. So we're really excited to, to continue the ice cream tradition on this property for New Britain. And, that, we're, and that's a big part, because you've worked very closely with the Guida family on this, too. I, I did. The Al Guida. The Guidas have been great. Um, obviously, you know, this was their start. It started... They opened up in 1945, July 1st right. or July 4th, 1945. So it'll be 70 years ago this week that it opened up. Oh, wow. And we were inviting the guiders to come when we're ready to open up. They've given us some memorabilia. Uh, they gave us some beautiful photos uh, oh, from, the, from the opening day in 1945 that we can display here. here. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that's, it's exciting, you know, and, and it, it's about giving back to the community. I, I, I want to give a thanks to the, uh, the guidance counselors at New Britain High School. I called them instead of putting just an ad in the paper. I wanted to give back and say, hey, we're looking for, we're going to be opening soon. We're looking for a certain type of, uh, of employee. The kids, you know, this is their first job. Many of them is their first job. And I would tell you, we got over 40-something kids that came over and applied, and some of them came all dressed up. Some of them had resumes, and we, I think we got a good group of kids to start off our business yeah. with. And it's about giving back to the community. We could have just put it out in the paper and had anybody show up. And uh, mm. um, so we're excited about that as well. Yeah. Well, that's a really important piece, too. A lot of our local businesses do that. They'll go to New Britain High or go to CCSU and try to get some of our New Britain students in to give them an opportunity. So mm. we certainly, certainly do appreciate that. I'll let Thank you know you. who came up with the logo. That's a great logo with the ice cream scoops for the eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really, really creative. Uh, so who's a creative genius here? She, she, Heather's a creative genius. <laughs> she, she's, a, she's responsible for everything here. The colors and everything. I was the just colors. the one that, I'm just the real estate guy. That's the way I look like. So. When I started <laughs> saying raspberry and aqua, his, his face just glossed over. But we we need some colors for ice cream and we did we, we had fun with the logo and you see it on the sign you see it on our on our pints and quarts and that's our which leads us to a very very important question mm -hmm. who is making the ice cream where is it coming from it's actually being made right here on premises uh, it is a family business we have family members in the process making the ice cream uh, almost as we speak right now getting ready uh, we've had a lot of fun naming the ice cream after a lot of local spots around here and in fact we have a little surprise for the mayor this morning uh oh we found out his favorite ice cream was cookie dough so you'll see once we're open that we have something on the menu named stewart's cookie dough yes. so we'd like to present that to you from us so oh, thanks. Cool. thanks for all you've done we also have others here's another example blue devil cookie monster 
We have. Uh, you heard it first, right here at Nutmeg TV. We there's have, uh, Stewart's New Cookie Dough. Stuart, yeah. Zoom. And it's, it's ready, right here, waiting for you. And we have New Britain Coffee Craze. We have a lot of local flavors. We just had fun with it and we wanted to. Hard Hit and Rocky Road. That's right. That's Hard Hit right. Rocky Road. We have uh, Stanley Park Strawberry. We, yeah. we, have a lot of diff <laughs> we have a lot of different flavors too. Something that would be non traditional, like, like uh, your mint chocolate chip. It's made with real mint. So it's not the green ice cream you get from the store mm. that people may be used to. So, you know, but it's, it's all natural. Uh, not all natural. It's all all fresh, homemade. you know, you're homemade. It's, it's right here. Yeah. So you 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 experience no, that. No, because when you then, uh, when I was up here, was it last week? Michael gave yeah. me a, a a quick taste testing. <laughs> I had Southington salty caramel. Yes. Yeah. Never had that in my life. Unbelievable. Excellent. It's, 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 I mean, I can't. You can't <laughs> hand me ice cream and not. Here's Frisbee's <laughs> first ad. <laughs> wow. That's okay. really good. <laughs> So we're going to have. Um, we're that also, is really good. We're also going to have cakes and novelties, something that you wouldn't see at a normal, you know, a normal ice cream shop. Uh, something that's going to set ourselves apart, and really make this a destination place. Um, we're going to have outdoor seating. We have indoor and outdoor seating. Um, We'd like to host birthday, birthday parties. parties. Is there any other Cor gatherings you'd like events, to have here? Uh, fundraisers. <laughs> this, this inside restaurant will have 40 seats, so we're we're capable of carrying a good Let's crowd in here. You. Outside, we can even have more people. Um, one more thought about the local flavors and the flavors we're doing. We're going to be rotating the flavors as we go and we'll be reaching out to the community to say, oh good, what are we missing? Yep. What's your favorite flavor? Make up your own flavor and we'll try it. So How many are start with? Uh, we're going to start with 24 in the case. Okay, yep. coming out, yep. And then you have some sorbet I think I saw there. Yep. We have some sorbet, sorbet and sherbet as well. Sherbet, yeah. Yeah. Ice cream is seasonal. Anything for off season, any soups, uh, any of that? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're looking forward to adding to our menu paninis and hot soups. Nice. For um, year round, once we get going, we're also going to change up our ice cream flavors in the off season to, uh, you know, pumpkin, apple flavors in the fall. Wonderful. Yeah. Peppermint in the winter. We're, we'll have fun with it. We want we want this place to be fun. We want mm -hmm. the employees to have fun. We want sure. the customers to have fun. It's a great quality product. And it's a great customer experience. And if they don't have that, we want to make sure they talk to us because that's what we're all about. Absolutely. Very cool. We're yeah. super excited for this to happen. I mean, I can't. That was delicious, by the way. Yeah. And once we get off air here, I'm going to eat that entire <laughs> plate. That's that they lunch. Handed to me. That is lunch for today. You know, but Michael, <laughs> another thing to credit. Seriously, I, I sincerely mean this. So many people have asked me, you know, in the past week, two weeks, three weeks, when are they opening? When are they opening up? You haven't rushed it. You wanted to do it right. You wanted right. to do it right the first time. Mm -hmm. So when you open up, you'll be ready, and you'll be ready for the public. And right. so many times we've seen developments get rushed, and they don't come out as good as they anticipated because they do rush it. So, mm -hmm. I mean, even though we're delaying the opening just a couple times, right. that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's because it's going to be. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be great. I think we're really excited about yeah. it. So. And I think everybody's really anticipating it in the community, too. I know in New Britain Little League, a lot of our, our, our football, baseball, soccer programs have been asking, hey, right. when are they opening? We've been talking you up as much as possible. I hope all of you watching will talk them up as well. Um, but this is just the first of many developments happening on this corner. Mm -hmm. You know, there's going to be a lot of a lot of action lot of going action. on up here, yeah. and yeah. we're really proud to be partners with Mike and his family as, as a part of this. And and this is just the beginning of a lot of great things to come for the city of New Britain. So yeah. thank you. I can't thank, 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 thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have one more thank you. I'd like yeah. to shout out to the businesses of New Britain. Being here, we've met quite a few businesses in the sure. area. The support has been amazing. And I'm really excited to be part of this town and this commerce because right. everyone has been so positive yeah. and welcoming. And yeah. and we're here to do just the same and give back to the community. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you guys so much. We look forward to having yeah. the opening, the ribbon cutting. Thank you too. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I'm out of here to go eat some ice cream. So <laughs> thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Oh, we'll have thanks. you back soon. <laughs> Okay, I jumped the gun a little bit. I can't go and eat my ice cream yet before I tell you about some events that we have going on in the city in the month of July. I know I just reminded you that City Hall is going to be closed on Friday, July 3rd in observance, in observance of Independence Day. We'll all be at the Great American Boom on Saturday, July 4th at Sealy Corner Park for the largest fireworks display in the Central Connecticut area. Hopefully, I'll be seeing all of you there. The New Britain Industrial Museum has reopened after moving from the second floor to the first floor of the CCSU ITED building at 185 Main Street, Haven of Visit in their new location. Our summer music series at the Darius Miller Band Shell at Walnut Hill has begun. 
every Monday and Wednesday from 7 to 9 p.m. From now until August 31st, there will be free music, refreshments, and fun for all of you at Walnut Hill Park. As we told you last month, uh, Pentecostal takes place on July 15th from 5 to 9 p.m. at Walnut Hill Park. There's going to be music, demonstrations, samples, pet grooming, pet adoption opportunities, and plenty more. Who knows, maybe Frisbee's will even be there handing out ice cream. <laughs> in addition to that, the 8th Annual uh, Ability Walk and Roll is going to take place on July 22nd, starting at 5.30 p.m., also at Walnut Hill Park, tying in with our summer music series that's up uh, at the band shelf. Entertainment, ice cream, music, a one-mile walk and roll, and more. Come celebrate the 25th anniversary this year of the Americans with Disabilities Act with us. The Parks and Recreation Department is hosting a bike safety day on July 25th from 11 to 3 p.m. located in the downtown area. There's going to be lots of bicycle education, free giveaways, we hope you'll join us for that. Fans, yours truly is hosting the Back to School Mayor's Pencil Hunt. That's at Walnut Hill Park on Thursday, July 30th from 9.15 a.m. until 11, so save the date for that. On July 31st, a very special event is happening that's very close to me and my family. Uh, July 31st is the day of the Mayor's Trophy Charitable Fund Golf Tournament. The Mayor's Trophy Charitable Fund was started by my father when he was mayor. I am keeping up with that tradition. To date, we've donated over $250,000 in grants to local charities, local nonprofit agencies that help the youth of the community in New Britain. So every dollar raised stays to an organization that benefits the children or youth in the city of New Britain. Last year alone, we raised over $25,000. Hopefully, we'll be able to meet or exceed that goal this year. If you're interested in playing or putting a course in together, that's about all the time we have for today. I'd like to thank Mike Frisbee, Heather, Bill Carroll for being my guest today. I encourage all of you watching to give Frisbee's Dairy Bar a try when they're open later this month. I want to thank all of you for watching and direct you to the bottom of the screen for our website, office number, and other ways to get more information regarding this show or just to talk about the issues that affect you. I hope to see you guys back next month for August edition of Around New Britain with Mayor Stewart.